Hello, I'm Juliet Coward and you're watching Fall 40 TV. You're so going to love this episode because finally, for the first time, we get to talk about a few of the things that I absolutely love, silent fashion. I was just telling my crew the other day, there was a time when the fashion world stopped and closed its doors to women like me, women who were in their 40s or even 50s and 60s and we were left on the other side wondering what now because our options were just so limited the trends were young and were not being interpreted for our bodies but it's 2017 thankfully and times have changed now we have so much more options and brands are reinventing what they do for the young and for our age and of course the various body types and so pretty much today there's no excuse for you being stuck in a rut but fashion and style i know i know i know this to be true it doesn't come easy to all of us whether it's deciding the colors that suit you best of finding the perfect shape or even just reinventing your style. If you have questions about any of these things, then this show is just what the doctor ordered for you. I'm excited to take you to fashion designers, Meiling's home and atelier, where we'll talk about fashion and a whole heap of other fun stuff. After that, we'll bow down. <laughs> To the pants and finally give them the status they deserve in your closet boy oh boy do we have style for you but before we talk about that kind of style we want to talk about a different kind what happens on the set of forward 40 tv we get a lot of questions from you about the makeup the design and just the overall look and feel of our show and because we're into sharing what I really mean is that we're into oversharing. We're taking you behind the lens to show you exactly how we do it. Vanessa Citron, I hope you're watching because this is a masterclass in what goes into creating Power 40's set, the lighting episode. Hello everyone and welcome to Fall 40 TV and our newest episode of Tech Chat. Last time we talked about how to create a set and if you haven't seen it, you should head over to our blog, fall40.com, type in set into the search bar and you will find all that you need to know. Today, however, we're going to be talking about lighting. Lighting is perhaps one of the most important things in life. Think about how direct sunlight in your face when you're trying to take a selfie destroys it or how a lamp changes the way your bedroom looks at night or what happens when you step inside a changing room and the lighting makes you look and feel 10 pounds heavier and no one wants that. So on Forward 40 TV today, we're going to show you how to work with three, one, two, three types of lighting our favorite and by far the most simple is plain good old free natural light if you're doing a lifestyle set or even if you're doing a studio background pick a wall that faces a window so you can get maximum natural light for your shoot the one drawback the singular drawback of using 
free sunlight though is that you can't control the weather and you can't control the sun. So it is very likely that you'll get different looks at different times of the day. If it's sunny, you'll get a harsh glare with some unflattering shadows. If it's cloudy and gray, you'll get a bluish gray light that's very pretty, but it can change just like that. Morning light is different to afternoon light, and afternoon light is different to evening light. But if you find a spot with nice, steady lighting, then you're all set. Another option is to use artificial light like LEDs or softboxes. We use two softboxes on our set. These are just really powerful bulbs with translucent fabric attached to get rid of any harsh or directional light. When my team uses a softbox, I get this soft, nice, round, splattering light all over that is really easy to control. There are a bunch of lights in our softbox. We can switch them off and on and change the brightness of the light. Another way to play around with how bright the lights show up on your screen is to literally decrease or increase their distance to you. The closer they are to you, the brighter it is. If you're doing a beauty video, and we know you love those, you want to make sure that the lights are, upset, are substantially close to you so that it lights up all of your wonderful, gorgeous work that you're doing on your face. I'm going to get a little bit technical here, but please, I want you to stay with me. We work with two lights, a key light, which is your primary source of light, and a fill light, which usually fills in the shadows caused by the key light. So for example, if I use this light as my key light and I took off all the other lights, you'll see a shadow on this side of my face. To get rid of that, we place another light right there and voila, shadows are gone. We usually place lights either at a little bit above eye level or at a 45 degree angle above it to mimic natural light. If for some reason you want to light up the background, maybe there is something in there that you'd like to highlight, all you have to do is take another light, place it behind you, and angle it either towards the ceiling so that all the light can bounce off your walls. That's about all the magic that goes into it. There's one part that we didn't touch on, beauty lighting, but we're saving that for a very special beauty episode coming up next week where we're taking you through all the beauty skincare and lighting know-how you need to get that natural beautiful glow. So how many times do you stand in front of the mirror and put yourself down? I'm guilty as charged. Many of us when we look at ourselves we think I'm too old, I'm too fat, I will never get any style, I'm way past this and why should I even spend my money on clothes? You might have a different internal monologue but we're all our own best personal critics. So one person who definitely nails her own style is Mei Ling with her short spiky hair, signature glasses and a classic black wardrobe. Mei Ling knows that being chic at any age is all about knowing yourself, finding your stick and wearing the right undergarments. Imagine being able to earn more. Imagine getting the chance to live more. Imagine living a life where you can see more. Imagine you with JMMB, your best interest at heart. to share come celebrate life's moments yeah. get it all at the falls that's my small that's my small get it all at the falls feel the joy and step inside a sharpest dream is what you'll find and all your life you will recall your special moments Fall.
malls at West Mall. So glad you said yes to our interview. Of course. I just have 40 questions, so shall we get right into it? Yes, may I help you with your bag? Of course, here you go. Mealing, you live in such a great neighborhood. How long have you lived here? I've been here since the mid-70s. What's your favorite thing about living in Woodbrook? I love the idea of living in the center, center of the city, and I also love the, you know, the fact that I'm in the city, but I have birds and I have all this green around me. What's your least favorite thing about living in Woodbrook? I would think the wee hours on Saturday morning when all the partiers are heading back home from the avenue, then it's a bit noisy. If you ever left Woodbrook, where would you live? Because I love silence, I think an ashram or monastery. <laughs> Do come in. Thank you. Oh, wow, Mailing. What a lovely home. Oh, thank what you. What is your favorite room and why? We're just leaving at the veranda. I spend a lot of time on the veranda, just looking out, listening to birds, as I said. I wish I could sit with you there all day and just talk. <laughs> yes. Is this where you do all your design? Not really. I do my research here. I have a quite an amazing fashion library, but all the design is done in my, in my studio. I love your bookshelf. What books are you looking forward to reading during the upcoming month? Uh, well, this one is the story of a new man by Elena Peranta. She's my new uh, favorite author and I'm going to be... But I have, still have a lot of research to do because my collection is coming up. <laughs> what book did you read when you were younger that helped to shape your design aesthetic? Not a book, but every Vogue magazine that came into my mother's uh, sewing room because she was one of Trinidad's leading dressmakers. So I poured over them. You know, it was... I was just amazed. Wow. What is the one fashion magazine you can't do without? At the moment, Porter Magazine will have my answer. That's my answer. Porter Magazine and of course I love Vanity Fair. On a scale of 1 to 10 mailing, how happy are you about life right about now? Really? Can one really measure happiness? I guess not. <laughs> Why don't you come? Would you like a cup of chai tea? Should I would it? Love some. Oh, Thank well, you, come follow me. Black or white mailing? <laughs> Oh, Judith, black, of course. <laughs> of course. Shoes. High heels or flats? Flats. Facebook or Instagram? I, I tend towards Instagram. I, you know, I use it a lot and I think it helps my business. Pilates or cardio? Uh, I would say yoga. <laughs> I knew you would say that. <laughs> What's your favorite restaurant? In Trinidad, I go to Buzo quite a lot, but I also like entertaining at home. Um, internationally, I would say any good Japanese restaurant. Your favorite food? Japanese. I should have guessed. <laughs> what must you have on your pizza? When I do have pizza and I indulge in pizza, I would have just pepper flakes. Dark chocolate or milk chocolate? Dark, very dark chocolate. Here you are, Judith. Thank you. This is great. What's the one mistake mainly that women make when it comes to fashion? I think they almost become fashion victims because they try to adopt every trend that comes in, whether it's body or age appropriate, and I think that's a huge mistake. And the one thing that women get right when it comes to fashion? The fact that they are interested in fashion and what's going on, that's right. When coming for a fitting with you, what should a woman wear? I always ask them to bring along the shoes that they uh, intend to wear with the garments so we can get the right proportion, good fitting on the garments, and a wonderful attitude because it's your fitting. We can fix things here. I love that. It's a fitting. <laughs> to garter or not to garter? Well, I, when I think of garters, I think of these, you know, and the way of holding up hose, but it's different now. So I guess to garter if you have to. <laughs> because they call it waist trainers. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> How important is a good bra? It's the success of a garment. How can a woman find a style? I think by trial and error, but also now if you don't have the time, why don't you find a good stylist or even your designer can help you. Ah, good tip. What fashion trends are you crushing on right now? Right now, looking at the New York Fashion Week, I love that everything is very relaxed, the silhouettes are relaxed, nothing is restrictive anymore. And I think it's, you know, you can be anything. You can be girly or you can be tailored. 
easy breezy fashion. That's right. Would you like to come and visit my shop? I would love to. Meaning, uh -huh. how should I wear my white shirt? In multiple ways. And my black shorts? The appropriate length. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best fashion secret you ever learned? What's the best fashion secret I have ever learned? I would think that uh, my I idolize Coco Chanel and she always said, before you leave home, take off one accessory. Sometimes most women tend to over accessorize. So check yourself just before you leave and remove one. What's the one fashion secret you wish every woman should know? Uh, the, the correct undergarment or well-fitting undergarment is the success of your garment. What's your best kept secret, Mailing? Judith, it wouldn't be a secret anymore if I told you. <laughs> You're right. Mailing, what's the one thing you wish people knew about the design process? It takes time and it cannot be rushed. Okay. What makes you the most happy about the design process? It allows me to dream, it allows me to uh, go back in time. It's, it's a wonderful process. Pants or skirt? Pants. Jeans or dress pants? I would just say any pair of pants that are well tailored, well fitting. I have a tough one for you. Bare skin or makeup? I would say bare skin or cheating a little bit, wearing minimal makeup to look as though you have bare skin. You were named one of Trinidad and Tobago's top designers. Whose designs do you love? Internationally, I love all the Japanese. I love Kawakubo, Yamamoto. Uh, regionally, I love what Richard Young of the cloth does. What's the one thing you tell your 20-year-old self? Mm. That life isn't a walk in the park. Even if you're in the fashion industry, it's not a walk in the park. What is your biggest life regret? That's a tough one. Maybe I should say, like Shirley Bassey, no regrets. Every downer is a lesson learned. What do you most want to be remembered for, Mailing? Well, without a doubt that in some way I've made a mark on Caribbean fashion or fashion on the whole, and that here, Carlo Street, has been an open door to all creatives in every great genre. That's it. Thank you so much, oh, Milling, for fun. being a great guest on 40 Questions with Forward 40 Questions. One more thing. I would love to grab some chai on the way out. Can I? Certainly, certainly. Bye, Milling. Bye. See, See you, you soon. soon. TV, um, uh, a dishwasher. washing machine, dryer, dishwasher, and your mattress because you never have too many mattresses. Yeah. I think I want a bed for my mommy because the one is very, very old. So she would really like a bed like that. Make sure I spell my name correctly, eh, Santa? Welcome back. With dresses and skirts on the rise and women wanting to be so ultra-feminine, we've been leaving pants behind. But no one brings the party quite like a good pair of pants. To pay homage to them, I dug out four of my favorite ones from the back of my closet and I asked my team to come up with the craziest and zaniest props. And then we set the set on fire. Bring it. Oh, behave. Black carpet, I'm in trouble. Black carpet, I see trouble. Man, 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 I'm not gonna get home.
And with that, it's time to wrap it up and sign off. All our episodes are on Facebook, so drop us a line and like, tag, love, and share the heck out of them. We love to hear from you and every little bit keeps us going. Want even more life and style inspiration? Well, head over to our digital platform, foul40.com. Make sure to enter your name, email address and hit the subscribe button to become a forward 40 member where you get instant access to the longer versions of all the videos we don't post on forward 40 tv plus you get exclusive content giveaways and personal updates from me that i really don't share anywhere else we will be back next week next sunday right here see you then bye i love you all Good God. You'll get a bluish gray light.